Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about why men find solace in other and women other than the woman that they're dating. But before we talk about that, if you're struggling to attract the right man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at CommitmentConnection.com and go and take the quiz. <clears throat> so today's question comes from a woman in our community, and she asks, why do men find solace in other women than their partners? And so this really can happen for two major reasons. And, and the first one is that uh, there's something about uh, you or the relationship that you're in where he doesn't trust or feel comfortable talking to you about certain things. And so, um, you know, the big one here that happens a lot is uh, a lot of times women will, you know, they'll they'll be like, oh, tell me, tell me, you know, what's going on, tell me about things, and then they like freak out and get all weird and, you know, act, uh, you know, irrational and crazy when the guy tells her things that are going on. You know, she gets jealous, she gets, you know, whatever happens, um, you know, and and so it kind of trains a guy to feel uncomfortable telling her what's going on with him. And so if a guy gets into that situation, he probably won't. Um, he, he might go and talk to other women about things. And um, if you want him to feel comfortable with you, uh, you have to kind of train yourself not to freak out and not to get emotional when he tells you things about um you know, anything to, you know, allow him to tell you anything without freaking out and getting crazy. And the second uh, reason here that uh, guys go to other women is that, uh, you know, maybe that it could be that he takes your relationship very, very seriously and he wants to avoid certain topics with you because he doesn't want you to think badly of him. And so if a guy really values and appreciates your relationship um, and feels a little bit more comfortable because it's not, you know, a lot of times when when uh, people take relationships seriously, it, it kind of creates this environment where um, they feel uh, almost like this tension, like there's this constant tension, like we got to get it right, you know, you know, this is the one, so we got to figure it out, you know, this, you know, we're moving towards marriage, so, you know, there's like all this built up expectations and pressure and stuff on top of it, and <clears throat> that can really make a guy feel uncomfortable bringing things up towards you, and could uh, eventually lead him to talking to other women about certain things and so what you need to do is figure out which one of these it is and uh work on um you know work on it from that angle and, and you can even ask them about it um so that's it for this video if you want to learn more about what's stopping you from attracting mr right into a committed lasting relationship make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz i'm matthew coast and i'll speak with you again soon